cold outside. Fuck this, I'm putting a jacket on. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is still apparently winter outside, so this fucking sucks. Today's a good day because the 240 is back from the frame shop. There's quite a bit of damage that was done from the previous wreck. It all got pulled out. There's still some things that need to be replaced, but I'm not gonna work on that today. If you are new to this channel, I own two vehicles. I own an ugly, shitty Miata, and I own a 93 240SX Coupe with a Toyota 1UZ V8. I'm not working on anything today. I'm tired, I'm hungover, fuck all this shit. But I will show you what's going on because some interesting things kinda did happen. So I got the car back from the frame shop. Everything seems to be straight enough to uh, keep running the car and not have to reshell it just yet. But I don't think that I'll be getting good fender fitment or even mounting a headlight on the wreck side and make it look anywhere near what it used to look like. The main thing that I need to replace now is the front cross member where the engine mounts to because where it mounts to the lower control arm, the ears of that bent, that's in the last video. So I have a friend that is selling me a cross member and a hood so I can get this fucking paint pan off of my hood. If you've never seen the paint pan hood before, I'll explain first. There was a midnight madness where it was going to rain outside, but I didn't want that to prevent me from driving. I have to have a massive hole cut out in my hood because the V8 doesn't fit very well. So with that giant hole being there, I had to find something that I can set on top of it for one day that can keep the rain out. But for some reason, I kept it on there and I haven't fucking taken it off yet. This is what I'm talking about. So I'm buying a new hood and I'm going to try to cut it up very slightly and make it work. This is what the damage looks like still. Uh, this section will never be pulled out and made look nice again. But I'm going to have to figure something out about making a headlight mount again. That got pulled out quite a bit more to where I can somewhat get a fender mounted back to it again. The main concern was this lower radiator mount, or the lower core support. This section right there was pushed in a lot, where my tension rod bracket couldn't mount. But as you can see now, it is mounted and it functions. Also my hood latches, they fixed my core support enough to where my hood still latches, and I didn't think that they would be able to do that. I just got a message about 20 minutes ago saying to go outside and look in the garage. And this is what I walk out to find. My back bumper. <laughs> my friend Curtis found my back bumper in a field. <laughs> this thing looks like it has been through hell and back. It is missing lots of pieces. But it's here. I have it. So I might try to put a little bit of time into making this a uh, complete-ish bumper again and try to get it mounted back up because that would cover up that damage from when I actually lost this bumper, I hit a sign and um, the bumper just kind of disappeared from there. But I got my bumper back, so got to put it back together, but I should be able to make it look decent, I think. And then also he told me to look in my seats. And I find harnesses. There's a set over there, too. I'm going to pull these out and show these to you guys. These things are actually pretty nice. I've never heard of this company before. This Williams or whatever. But they seem to be pretty decent and they have the cam lock style uh, release other than what I have which are like the the big clamp. I don't know what they're called. But he got these from work and he gave them to me because they were going to throw them away. And they are going to throw them away because not valid after 2013. They're expired. So they're just going to toss them. And he asked me if I wanted them. I told him, yeah. Because one, I need new harnesses. Two, I need harnesses that match. And three, mine are pretty fucking expired. So 2013 isn't too bad. Let's look and see what time my harness expired. 
January of 1992 is when these harnesses expired. Fucking hell. <laughs> so as soon as he said 2013, I was like, fuck yeah, give them to me. Just the only thing that's kind of shitty is that they are this, uh, the eyelid clip style harnesses, like where they mount. So since I don't have that type, I'm going to have to find something that'll work. Because these are also kind of tiny holes. Normally these are a lot bigger. But uh, it's going to suck trying to find something that works with these. But I definitely do want to uh, utilize them and put them in the car. To be honest, guys, I really don't have anything else to film today. I just wanted to show you that the car is back. And that's why I haven't been uploading. Because I was trying to keep like a weekly upload thing going. But the car got sent off to the frame shop and it was there for two weeks. So there was nothing for me to film and I'm not just going to film bullshit. But the car's now back. I'm waiting for this core support and once I get that in, I can do a video of me actually working on the car. And once that's in, I can get a wheel alignment. Uh, I have to buy another square G6, which is one of the wheels that I exploded. Get tires for them. Buy new electric fans because one of mine just gave out. But honestly, that is all I have today. I'm sorry for this being so short, but I just wanted to show you guys that I'm still alive. The 240 is still here. It's not in a scrap yard yet. Oh, fuck. I totally forgot. I'm buying an engine. <laughs> uh, if things go well, I'm going to be buying a second engine, which will be a backup. And it's a little bit different than what I have in the car now. If things go the way that they're supposed to, uh, I will be buying... I'm gonna buy that engine swap and pretty much set it to the side and do a little bit of work to it and some maintenance, but just have it sitting back ready for if the 1UZ blows up or something else happens, I can put the engine into my car. The thing I've really had in mind with the 240 is I kinda wanna make it a daily again. I wanna make it something that I can drive every day if I want to, or if my other car goes down, I have something I can drive to work. And the 1UZ is, yeah, reliable, but I've had so many small issues that involves swapping it into something it doesn't belong in, that it's kind of making it not reliable, I guess. So if I put this engine in, hopefully it'll be a lot more reliable and it'll be a lot more calm, quiet, relaxing to drive and something I can enjoy driving on the street because the one you, like, the car right now, this thing's just way too ratty for the streets. So stepping down to something a little less powerful and a little more aggressive would be fun. And with drifting, the one you see is kind of too easy. Like, I don't want to sound like cocky with it, but there's no way else to say it. But drifting with the 1UZ is, is, is too easy. It's, you put your foot down, the wheels break loose. It's not that hard. And I'm not a big fan of that. That's not that fun. I've always liked the idea of making the car drift and pretty much building the skill to make something that is hard to drive drivable. I've always liked that idea. That's why I drifted Miatas for years, and that's why I loved drifting this when it was KA. The one you see was fun. It's a party, a lot of smoke, but I want to go back to something a little more complicated to drive. I'm still not 100% sure if I will be buying the engine or doing the swap or what the plans are. It's just kind of a rough idea of what I might do. But I think that's all I have for today. I'm sorry that this was short once again, but I have nothing to do and I'm not going to film me fucking doing dumb shit for no reason. So, I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to try to fix this car and make it better again. Goodbye.